Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Lex Play. Wizard! <laughs> Are we wizards now? No, not quite yet. But, but, I... Hey, what's up? Welcome to Lex Play. Hardleg Joe here with uh, CB Radio. But an owl gave me a letter. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it was just dropping garbage. I I'm pretty sure that letter wasn't for you. In fact, it was. It had odd. money in it. Interesting. Oh, hey. Am I going to jail? There's a prologue. <laughs> in ancient <laughs> There's times, a story. the kingdom of Gerudo was cursed by demons. The king and all his subjects vanished mysteriously. Amongst them were the four sacred children, guardians of balance. Gerudo's last hope rested in the courage of a skilled swordsman named Owain who embarked on a quest to vanquish evil. However, he never came back, and Gerodu fell deeper into despair. Who's gonna save us? Oh, Wayne will. Then from a distant land came Cyrus, a wizard versed in both black and white magic, and a master of a secret art called Wizorb. Please, Master Cyrus, save us. There are charms. So, essentially, he doesn't see color in magic? Yeah. There are curses. Okay. One of them was glue. Oh. Uh. Yep, and that's that's the prologue. That's the whole prologue. That's that's the story. Okay. Yeah, and Brandon has no idea what what what's going on. Yeah, here, I have right? no freaking idea so what's going I'm on. I'm gonna start. I'm just gonna start a new quest. Difficulty normal. You may be. Oh, look at the old man walking down there. You just know there's gonna be wizards and sorcery and stuff, right? Mm-hmm. Behold, the wizard. Really? <laughs> Yeah. No! No! <laughs> oh, I'm instantly disappointed. Oh, what, you're disappointed? You don't like these kind of games? I didn't. I was expecting a little bit different, but I'm not. I'm not. I'm present, pleasantly surprised. I'm surprised. I I'm surprised. We're battling the evil furries with the power of the wizard. Well, no, no, don't tell Jay Aimless. I, I, I don't. I don't intend to. I never intend to. And we can shoot fireballs. You're Why did you even not? Because you're a wizard. Because you have a certain amount of magic. Look at him up there. He's like, ha ha wizard. <laughs> I took a beautiful dump this morning. Ha ha ha. Oh, look at there. You want you want to be that? You want to be the mayor? Thank you for helping us. The citizens of Tarot are the only ones who are, who have escaped the curse cast by the demons. However, monsters came from Gerardo's castle and attacked our town. Please save the kingdom of Gerardo. Mm, I'll think about it. I like the way he's kind of like wiggly. He's kind of wobbled back and forth. One second. Um, oh, I guess I can't access the options. I was hoping for options. Yeah. The mayor cares more for his citizens than for himself. I'd rebuild his house if I had the funds. Donate 999 GP. We don't we, we don't, don't we don't have that. We don't have that much, yep. No, I, I would have gone with, with that dude. I would have been like, yeah, he's, he's very bro-ish. Well, he's like a no, he's like a construction worker. He's got like the hard hat on. Oh, his hard hat. That looked like yeah, spiky looked hair good. to me, you know. Well, he's a strong man. I have to I have to inform everyone here that I am not wearing my glasses. I have lost them. And you still you still don't have them. I still haven't been able to find them. Yeah. So, you you're, you're probably you're... destroyed. But yeah, that's this this game is part what I, I know there's another word name for that game, like a famous one. Uh, it's Brick Break or something I like always, that. Yeah, I always knew it as Breaking Bricks. I yeah. I it in like, these little things at like, bars. Uh, oh, oh, can I voice the dog? Can I voice the dog? Sure. Woof, woof. Don't even <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> He's asking for money? Should we? Do we have 100G? We have 300. Give the dog some money. Give the dog a bone. Yeah, it's more like give him a C note, but come on, let's do this. Bow wow. <laughs> Barf. <laughs> you got a key! Yay! Helping people helps. But yeah, that's the thing. Everyone in town is uh, has something that's destroyed and needs fixing. So it's brick breaking, but with RPG elements. RPG town building. Yeah, RPG town building. Well, you also level up and stuff like that. I was I was hoping like from what it looked like I was hoping it was gonna be a platformer. <laughs> I was like, oh, is this gonna be like that that one weird game where uh, we had to we got uh, we start with random characters or not with a random character but with like 
uh, each with a different one. Like one was a a, a, a shepherd, one was a oh um, it was Angvik. really Angvik. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that was like a roguelike kind of thing. Yeah, uh, I thought this was gonna be like that, but nope, not quite. This was a uh, Wizorb, apparently. Yep. I'm gonna turn the paddle speed up to three because this thing is slow as fuck. And we're using I'm using a controller. It's probably mm. better to play with the mouse. Uh, speaking of which, here you go. We're trading off. Brandon, do you want to break some bricks? Oh, this is going to end you want so to be badly. The Wizorb. Wizorb. I love that transformation sequence. And you can launch it, and then you've got a limited amount of magic. You can use that fireball to blow up bricks. And that thing gives you more magic. You having a little difficulty controlling it there? No. You just see things... Oh, see, yeah, they're letting you use the as many fireballs as you want, because everything makes magic. If you want to try it... Maybe... Uh, How many whiz orbs do I get? Um, three. You have three more whiz orbs left. Now, how long does that go? What do you mean? How long before I like run out of whiz orbs? Um, when you when you die, every time you die, you lose a whiz orb, and you have three whiz orbs. You have three whiz orbs left. Now you have one whiz orb left. All right. Well, again, I don't think this was the best option for letting me play. <laughs> I, I thought this would be the easiest. I was like, you know, everyone can do breaking bricks. No, no, I don't. <laughs> I don't do well with normal, like, amounts of chaos in my life. I don't think I can deal with several things falling and then people's lives being, I can't deal with the pressure. You can't take the pressure of being the wizard. Nope. You're using your magic stone. Or you nah, not, what was it? Yeah, you're using your magic wand to control and re reflect the wizard. It's it's not just any any old paddle game. It's not just breaking bricks. You're on a, you're on an epic quest. I have failed. You lost all your lives in the first level. All right, let 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 hard leg Joe show yeah. you what's done. Bam, already. Well, I already I took him out pretty easily. It's getting everything else that was issue. Always prioritize life over the ball. Okay, well that was that. Okay, that was. I don't know how that happened. I've made it past this entire game without dying. It must just be Brandon distracting me. Thanks, Brandon. Yeah, again, you. you I'm not. I don't um, deal well with distractions anyway. Fire it. Oh, not gonna hit it. Think, oh, you thought <laughs> it was in a loop or something? I thought it wasn't in a loop. Man, even up at three, this is so slow. Maybe three is slower. Maybe, maybe I got the speed wrong. I just feel like it's not very... Wow. I blame Those guys go down, like, super easy. We gotta hit them a couple times. Ah! I, 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 I kind of just want to stop recording now. I've embarrassed myself beyond belief. Hey, I already embarrassed myself. I live with this embarrassment every day, this exactly, shame. Exactly, so it's nothing to you. <laughs> oh. I have a reputation to uphold. Thanks. One second. I'm, I'm, let me unplug this controller. Clearly the controller is broken, and that's why. I Clearly this is a mouse game. This and is a mouse and keyboard game. It, it, it does feel like something that would be a little bit easier to deal with than, uh, say, a... Oh, I think I broke it. Oops. Oops. We'll be back. Technical difficulties. All right, we're back with more success, hopefully. We're back, maybe. And this time I've got the mouse, and I can handle things. I can handle level 1-1. One, one. I'm sure of it, using mouse powers. Were you not using mouse before, or were you using controller? I was using controller. No, I meant like, when you said you 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 went with an entire game without dying. Oh, um, I don't remember, but I'm guessing that it was the, uh... Mouse? Mouse. I mean, because you PC long enough, mouse becomes an extension of your hand. Yep, exactly. There we go. See, this I could probably... Do, but I don't want to. Oh, okay, good. Okay. I do want to. I like to wizard. I wizard all day long. <laughs> These are like my favorite kinds of games, like as far as arcade games go. Some people like Tetris and like puzzle games and stuff, and those are all right. 
but give, give me some Arkanoid. That's what it's called. That's what these are called? Arkanoid? Yeah, that was the, the Japanese game that first introduced ah. this with uh, power-ups. The only thing that I think that I would actually enjoy doing that is like this would probably either be Metal Slug, something like that, uh, which is just side-scroller, like, Contra kind of thing, or uh, maybe, uh, what is it? I can't remember it. Um, oh, uh, side-scroller uh, shooter, like Galaga. Shoot 'em up games. Mm -hmm. I think that's what they're called. No, I forget. It's weird because you would think that like that would be a, a shooter game, but it's not. I think that's called a shoot 'em up. No, or no, it's it's, uh, it's it's called a side scroller, a side scroller shooter. Someone will have to comment in the comments if you know anything. Mm hmm. Haha, -ha, the furries are gone. <laughs> Sorry, furries, but you're gone. Comment in the comments if you're a furry. And if you're still here, why? Why? We we got rid of you. <laughs> we we I, we thought the message was clear. <laughs> Why do you think we played this game? Just because it happened to be a fun game? No, it's entirely to do with the politicalness of furries. Uh, actually, uh, uh, before we uh, go any deeper into this, can uh, 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 editor Joe, can you put a big word saying satire on top of that? <laughs> I and mean, I probably already did. Oh okay. Oh, okay, I didn't notice it there. Yep. Ah. My glasses are off. There we go. Yes, yeah, so you've got the fireball, and then you've also got the the wind that can change things. Oh, is do you have unlimited wind or? No, it's it's all with that magic ball. Ah, okay, form. okay. So you've got the fire and the wind that you can just shoot uh, normally, and then if you activate those powers when right when the ball collides with the staff, I'm sorry, when the wizard collides with your magical staff. With your wand. Yeah, with your wand, magical wand. Your rod? No, 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 no. Then you can do cool things, like, here, I'll, I'll show you once uh, Once you get that, uh... Yep. Boom! Fire goes through everything for a few seconds. And then this turns it into that. You can kind of control it, but not really. But you can kind of control it. <laughs> you can kind of control it, but yeah. not really. But those, as you can see up there, my magic dwindled significantly. Doing something like that takes a lot of stuff. Although, if, if you're trying to do things quickly or get through a whole bunch of stuff, especially earlier on, that fireball can be, ooh, it just goes through everything one hit. You know? Like a hot knife through, it's like a hot whiz orb through boxes. Yeah, it, it's exactly like that. It's like word for word. <laughs> like, there's there's no, nothing that, that is more like that than this. <laughs> because this is exactly that. What's also good is, like with all these games, your your ball goes faster and faster. Yeah, it does. And uh... so uh, this one I actually find is useful just because it basically resets the speed. Like, it can also be good for getting into, like, tight spaces because some of these... Because you have access to magical powers, some of these later levels can get kind of uh, ridiculous. They're a little bit ridic, but... Do you get more magical powers, or do you... Uh, I think it's just those, and then you can, like, buy stuff with your keys and... Yeah, I, there are curses, and... Yeah, we haven't gotten to them yet, because we're still on, like, level two. We, like, died embarrassingly. Yeah. I wonder how many people just, like, saw that, and they're like, is this what I'm in for? Mm -hmm. 30 minutes of this, I'm out. Uh, they just left. The, for those of you who stayed around, thanks! We uh, appreciate it. Mm -hmm. uh, Hopefully it was somewhat goofy, and the cringe wasn't, wasn't enough. Yeah. <laughs> uh, hopefully you're making that face. Yeah. Showing your bottom unified tooth. Yep. 8-bit's weird, man. Yeah. Well, just in general, art. Art in general is weird. Mm. Okay. Let's go. Let's, I believe, in a thing called love. I don't know why. I love his face right now. And there it's because like, it just looks like, let's talk about magic. <laughs> yep, yeah, sorry. Damn it. Why'd you have to get me talking about magic? Do you believe in magic? Wait. Yeah, I went into a door up at the top because I had a key, so it starts a bonus level. Where I can just get money and lives. You were about to get a life. Yep, I think it'll put me back with it when we come back. I don't remember exactly. And you can see for a split second, like, those, there's the, the wind and the fire over on the side. And for a split second, like, when the thing, when the paddle touches, it turns into the fairy and the... Mm -hmm. The Super Ball, as I call it. So am I gonna get my? Yep. Yep. It, All it right. Just comes back exactly as it was. Same as it ever was. Same, same as, as it, it ever was. was. This is not my beautiful wife. Yep. This is not what my. What's the name of that song? Um. Ah, 
trying to put it. By the talking heads. As the days go by and the and water the rises. I think that's once actually, in a lifetime. I think it's actually called As the Days Go By. Once in a lifetime. Do, 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 do. Something like that. Yeah. No, no, I, I, may have, have, I never got too big into the talking heads. They're kind of weird. I have an uncle who, like, really loves them, though. Nah, I, I, again, I, the musical range for my family and, and my existence has been very, like, classic rock, kind of all over the place when it came to my music. Yeah, I'm not sure. The talking heads kind of defy classification. They're, like, kind of pop, but they're, like, weird. Mm-hmm. Not sure if you ever heard if you on rock band they have a song called uh, Psycho Killer. Psycho Killer, he's cassé. It's almost like some weird like indie hit, except it's from like the eighties. Oh no, I I remember Psycho Killer. Yeah, it's a pretty nice song. They speak French in it, so yeah. if you speak French, there you go. I know I've okay. I don't speak French, but my one of my favorite, my, I think legitimately my favorite band has uh, a couple songs because they're French Canadian, literally entirely in French. Wow, and Gemini was... God would be very happy. He's one of our patrons. Uh, he's from he's from French Canada. He speaks he speaks the French. He's that guy who made us do Twisted Metal. Oh, wow. And by made us do, I mean request it. And then we did. Oh, and... <laughs> oh magic, yes. I was just like, this is getting really fast. And I'm like, oh yeah, I can shoot fireballs. What am I doing? I, I can kill things. Fireball at that. I can just kill bricks, because I can. What is that? It's a button. Shiny red button. I, I don't want to hit it. Yeah, you do. It opens up. Damn it. I was too busy looking up there. Yeah, and then you can, if you have enough magic, you can teleport the ball somewhere if you want. I don't want. Hey. That opens up space. Yeah, it's really good for those bricks. And then I can go into the item shop. I, there's I an item a, shop? Yeah, of course there is. Would be an RPG without it. Uh, and then you can make this game really easy. Replenishes all magic. Yes. Let's the orb stick to the magic wand. Are you sure? Yes. Buy health? Yes. I don't care if it takes my money. Okay, so what did you just buy that replenishes magic? What does it do? It gives you all your magic back. Oh. And is this just for this level, or is it forever? Um, the, the magic? No, 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 the, 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 definitely the magnet thing. Yeah, the magnet is until I die. Ah. Which, good luck dying with the magnet, because magnet makes the game much easier. Then you can avoid the curses really easy. You don't have to worry about things. Then it becomes a side-scroller shooter. Yeah, pretty much. And you can just have a casual, dandy little time. Just, mm -hmm. just be like Dandy Lion on on Yu-Gi-Oh. Just you know, going all around. Speaking of which, Brandon, you know, I, we don't really have you on the Yu-Gi-Oh show that much because you don't play Yu-Gi-Oh all that much. Mm -hmm. uh, what what is your experiences with Yu-Gi-Oh? Because I don't think I've ever asked you about like people ask me all the time what I thought of the anime. And, like I barely watched it as a kid. I didn't really particularly like it. I haven't seen anything past. The original show, except for like three or four episodes of GX. Well, I mean, uh, I enjoyed the show back in the day. I, I watched the original series, and really did enjoy it. Uh, but the uh, uh, after about like the after the first show, I didn't watch any of GX because I don't know. I just it didn't it appeal to me. Making trouble, never trying too hard. Is that the the theme song to it? Something like that. Uh, and then 5Ds came out, and I watched that, and at the time I was just really into being like, Oh, you get your own dragon? Oh, I want to find a dragon that's mine. I want my own dragon. Yeah, I was... Give it to me. I want to be a dark signer. I didn't want to be a dark signer, because I, I, like I don't like being edgelard. I don't like being edgelord. Edgelard. Edge... <laughs> I don't like being a yeah, lord are... with edges on it. I just picture, like, a guy who's... Oh, super big. An Irish edgelord. Don't worry about me, I'm just an edgelord. <laughs> har -har 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 -har. Uh. Oh no. Oh no. What? Oh, it's just, it was going really fast. And, yeah, it's uh, going pretty fast, but I can still catch it and then get the coin, and then there we go. 
Super fun to watch, I'm sure. Hey, hey. Yeah, there we Gives go. Gives us time to talk. Well, I mean, okay, I I didn't watch any shows after that, and oh, pretty you much... Didn't, you didn't watch Zexel? You didn't get to see the Ixie summon? Ixie's summon? No. Also, yeah, I stopped playing around, like, you, the synchro summoning you time. Didn't, you didn't feel the flow? Okay, don't make me hurt you. <laughs> um... Oh, come on. There we go. But you already have all the magic. Uh, I didn't know it was both magic. Whatever. Well, then just then, uh, go for broke. Go it all fire. Hard is over. Yay. Now I'm a happy, happy man. Doing all the things that a happy can. And, and killing furries. So ha have, have any... Do you watch very much anime now? Um, yeah. Uh, have, have you considered checking out any of the new series so that you might have more to talk about if we went on the, on, on like, the, the what a deck and stuff? You could be like, oh, I recognize that from the anime because I've been keeping up with brains. Uh, I don't know. It, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Uh, show has uh, always been kind of a, oh, that's interesting. Uh, do you ever want to check that? No, not really. <laughs> Mainly because my best friend, uh, really, really into, uh, like, uh, was it, uh, GX. Huh. And just him, hearing him about it was kind of, like, uh, that's nice. Well, you just couldn't get invested in the characters. I couldn't get invested in characters. And the, I, the, they never looked anything like a, a character to me. They looked like a, a hairpiece that had come to life. <laughs> Uh, the only one that didn't was Jaden, and because he's just got brown hair. Yeah, he's, he's the most most realistic. He's like a Karibo. Yeah, and the then guy, the guy from Brains isn't too bad. I don't know. Uh, I don't. As I, far I, as hair goes, I've begun to realize that just card games in general don't don't get me going as much as they. <laughs> I just can't get into this whole fate of the world card games thing. Yeah, I can't get into the whole like the fate of the world is resting upon a uh, a, a two like a centimeter what? wide, not wide, centimeter thick piece of card but card card. Board. I don't know. I, what was it? I haven't been uh I haven't been watching Grains, but I've been uh I've been watching this guy who I think it's called Yu-Gi-Oh Everything. Mm -hmm. And he just like reviews uh, every episode as it comes out. Ugh. Oh, that was close. Yeah, very much so. I shouldn't have gone for the fireball necessarily. That was awesome. Yeah, I could do some pretty awesome things, man. I'm kind of a Wizorb champion, maybe you've heard <laughs> of me. Uh, but yeah, so I've, I've been keeping up with episode summary, so I know like a bit about it, but I don't know like a lot. And I didn't start from the beginning. So I only know, like, a lot of the early stuff because it gets brought up again. But the way they seem to be going that, it's... Although, to be, I was about to be like, oh, you know, it's it's not Fate of the World, it's more like uh, Sword Art Online, but that has, like, a horribly bad reputation these days. <laughs> Especially in, like, the anime well, community. Well, and speaking of such things like that, the uh, uh, anime community, uh, not anime, the anime writing community, or at least the companies behind some of them, uh, seem to be taking that into wanting to put their own spin on it. And uh, uh, something I'm big into, uh, Gundam, uh, involving, uh, has uh, a show called Gundam Build Fighters in which... Everyone gets trapped into a uh, sci-fi realm? No. They're, uh, they build models uh, of Gundams. In this world, Gundam is a TV show. Uh, and they build the little plastic uh, snap-together models and customize them and then fight them but in the newest series this is the third one um they they've turned it apparently into a virtual reality game ah. in which you build it outside and then you go into this virtual world with and your own pilot it. and pilot it and actually no i looked to, from what they've shown it you become it you become the gundam you are the gundam Sounds pretty cool. I'd want to be a Gundam. Yeah, no. For a you bit. and Setsuna. But <laughs> for anybody who is a Gundam fan, would get that joke. I exist as the Gundam. There's a character who is just like, I am Gundam. Like, okay, calm down. Calm down a little bit, buddy. Uh, but you're saying about the uh, sword on, on the show? Yeah. It's, uh, so, so the the plot, as far as I can understand it, um, 
How come that didn't go in there? I wanted to go in there. Let me in. Little pig, little pig. Um, it's basically like, okay, so they created this like online world for uh, like dueling and stuff. Mm -hmm. um, and then they, they like trying to build... Oh. <laughs> Don't know how that worked, but it worked. Um, Magnets, how did they work? Very, very difficult. Let's see, one second. No, no, no. Ricoch ricochet off of that one, off the the side with the button. I'm trying to do the, uh... Yeah, I know. There okay. we go. No, I was trying to do the, uh, whatchamacallit? The, uh, the, the, the fairy ball, so that I could just, like, sort of casually glide into there. There we go. Let's just add more life to the count. I don't know if that ever sells out. Hmm. What? No. You, you can never run out of life. You can never run out of life, unless you do. Um, but yeah, so they, they, they come up with, you know, the, like, we can play Yu-Gi-Oh! online. You get your little avatar, they can do speed duels, and they actually make a little bit more sense, because it's not like, it's just for fun. Yeah, um, it's not. Uh, the fate of the world doesn't rest on card games on motorcycles. I, I wouldn't say, it wasn't so much fate of the world, it was more of, uh, our city needs to be powered by this. Yeah, but, uh... So it's just like, you know, they're having fun, but some people are, like, developing, like, AI to duel. And in, in doing that, they accidentally make, like, sentient AI. And so there's this thing where, like, there's these this, uh, this guy who, like, wants to destroy the online world because he's afraid the AI are gonna rise up and do evil AI things. Mm -hmm. um, and then, like, people get, like, they get, I think he says they get turned into data or something. Like, okay. Like when the, he 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 basically shuts down the game. He's like, everyone who like get out now, and if they don't get out, then like if they duel you and you lose, then you're you get converted into data. And then he, when he shuts down the game, it's gonna kill everyone. I I don't know exactly how it works, but it. If you die is, in the game, you die in real you life. You die if you lose the duel, you lose forever. Um, but it's just the idea that like you know that it has more reasonable scope. And it kind of makes sense that, like, you know, this guy would be worried about AI. It has a, a somewhat uh, based in true facts. Not based in true <laughs> facts, but... Uh, I, I almost Reasonable. say, like, ripped rip from the headlines. But, like, you know, every other, every other Yu-Gi-Oh! show has been completely self-contained, had nothing to say about the world. But uh, this actually, like, AI is something that's actually kind of a big deal to some people that might become a big deal in the, the near future. Mm -hmm. uh, and especially one interesting thing he always brings up is like because uh, the main character has like a little partner as one of those AIs yeah. I think his name is AI or it's like I or something like that um, which means love in Japan so I don't know Yep. but they, they make this point he's like why would you be afraid of I he's like the comic relief he's like a little rascally goofball and he's like I'm not afraid of him I'm afraid of humans being afraid of them and starting the first, like, he doesn't think that the, the, uh, AI, the AI are going to start the war. He thinks that humans are going to try to fight them, and the AI in fighting back are too powerful and will annihilate humanity in the process. Nah. Which is kind of a weird thing to do, because he's like, I hate humanity, but I have to save it from the AI that they're inevitably going to bully into a war. <laughs> It's kind of weird. It's kind of a bass backwards way of looking at things. Yep. There's also one of the villains uh, was raised by a tree. What? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to elaborate a bit on that one. I wish I could. <laughs> it's ba it's basically like his it, he. It's weird how like a lot of their a lot of the cards seem to have like personal significance to them. I'm not sure if this is something that started later on or if it's just in the show mm -hmm. uh, like the main the, the, the trick star girl who calls herself blue angel in the uh, yeah in the the show uh, they, they make this big deal about how like there was this children's book she used to read uh, called blue angel that was like about uh, they don't know what it's about because it was like a really rare book or something I don't know it was one of those things where like some guy knew the secret to her name and she had to like did all, like had to duel him to like prevent him from telling everyone. Okay. Because it has like personal significance wait, to her and her Yeah, we gotta wait for this thing to get finished. So yeah, we'll, we'll get to it. <laughs> well, next get time. There eventually. Next time on Let's Play. No. <laughs> <laughs>
Not quite. We'll have a few more. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh. There we go. Back in there. Get back in the fiery water. This there is part go. four of Wiz Orbs. We're just watching it go up and down, up and down, up and down. No, it's fine. See, we already... Uh, I know. I just like that idea. All I gotta do is get the furries. Yeah, we'll get through it. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, so so this this one villain had uh, his whole thing was uh his boss monster was this big tree, mm -hmm. and he was talking about like when he was a kid when he was like six his mom straight up just like took him into the woods and left him there like abandoned him. I mean, like you do with children. Yeah, and he he found like he found a big tree that like he could live inside because it had like a big hole in it and stuff. Mm -hmm. Um. And he talks about, like, the tree was his new mom, and it, like, fed, he's like, it fed me and kept me warm. And, like, it shows him, like, finding grubs and stuff in the tree. But then he's like, and it also protect me, protected me, and it's like, wolves come, and, like, the tree, like, lashes out with, like, tendrils and attacks the wolves. Wait, what? But it's like, it's kind of hinted that, like, maybe as a kid he fought the wolves, but, like, thought of it that the tree was doing it. Like that was how he imagined it. Okay. It just it, it so was, this it, is just the the interesting psychosis of a madman raised yeah. living in a forest for living his, in a forest for several years, who then, dealing with the psychosis of your mother abandoned you for no reason. Yeah, and then he decided to duel for an evil guy, or a, a questionably evil guy, because again he's his things are like you know uh, the reasonable, not reasonable, but they have. He has reasons for what he's doing. He's not just, like, evil. He doesn't just, like, want power. He's not greedy. He, he has, like... He thinks the world will be better because of what he's doing. Even if it causes discomfort and pain to people. And kills people! It's like, yeah, this is this is surprisingly more in-depth than I would have imagined for a Yu-Gi-Oh! show. Yeah, I mean... Shows can surprise you. Like, uh, like you know, you, you went with the... Uh... Sword Art Online. I'm finding a show uh, about the same kind of idea, uh, but like drastically different and with really interesting repercussions. Of uh, uh, essentially, it's called Overlord, and instead of a guy just getting trapped in a video game, and if you die in real life, if you die in the game, you die in real life, and he's just BA. Um, in this game, in this story, he and he is a He's a lonely gamer guy, obviously still, but uh, he was part of a guild with all these other people, and they had all played m villain monsters in this game. And then he, um, on the last night that the servers are on for this syst for this game, that he and his friends played, uh, he sits in the the crypt that him and his uh, friends made ooh, uh, yeah, with all of these. You like that? Mm hmm. That do anything for you, Brandon? <laughs> Never ever say it that way again. <laughs> uh, Don't talk to me like that. Uh, no but, eye contact. <laughs> but no, essentially, uh, he uh, he's there on the last day the servers are all open, uh, and he's just walking around uh, looking at all the stuff and these characters that his friend I and mean, his friends created. And they're just really super high levels. No one was able to get into their actual crypt. And then, like, he stays there until the actual, like, uh, uh, timer rolls over. And it turns out that he's just stuck there. And now he's in a new area. And he doesn't know where he's at. And he's not a human. He's a lich. Hmm. And so he has all these other, like, non-human characters he's with. Uh, and the first season was just about him dealing with that, uh, finding him more out about the world, and like, this is just finding more out about the success, um, about the world and uh, kind of like being pushed into kind of a story of its uh, into a, an adventure of his own as the villain, uh, and decides to try and conquer this world. Uh, wow. So is it is it a game still or did Yeah, it, it's, to him he's still able to see the interface and at one of the last episodes of the first season he literally pulls from like the pay to catch the pay uh, pay to win area hmm. uh, to get uh, items that his friends had. 
Interesting. Um, but so, like, the game is shut down, and the people he's playing against don't think they're in a game? No, they're not people. They're all NPC. Oh, so he's just left there with the NPCs. Mm -hmm. And the NPCs are acting like people, like, actually, like, people. People, people. Also, um, fun little thing. On the last battle of the first season, he does take, like, a ten-minute thing where he starts adding buffs and debuffs to himself. Or it's just literally, uh, like, a, a minute sequence of him just saying spells, and it's just buff buffing him, buffing him, buffing him, buffing him. And it's hilarious. Uh, but the second season, I thought they were going to be like, let's focus more on this. No, no, they focus more on the world. Boss battle! Boss battle! Fire. The king of the furries must be defeated. Ah, out of my way. I'm a motorist. <laughs> out of my way, I'm a motorist. Yep, that's, uh, the Simpsons. Ah. Ha ha! No one defeats me, fiend! The wizard will have its revenge! Ha ha! What do you think about that? And how about one of those and one of these? Ah, ha 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 ha! Wizzorb! Oh, oh, he's a puppy! A... <laughs> and then boom! <laughs> and then he exploded. I like that. He's, and he still laughs like... It's like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> Poof. Aha! Exploding puppers! Just like I always wanted. <laughs> so, there you go. We had, we had a fun time on Legs Play. We beat mm -hmm. the first level. Uh, next time on Legs Play, we can do one more, right? You talk more about Animu? Yeah, I'll talk more about Overlord more... and other such things. Yeah, not Overlord, though. Let's talk about interesting anime. Oh, really? Yeah. Uh, you didn't uh, find that one funny? Next time on Legs Play. Next time on Legs Play. Comments in the comments, if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments, if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments, if you like these guys.